Now, our twinning journalist and author, Issa Sese, has been named a goodwill ambassador for the UNFPA to help in the fight to end violence against women, female genital mutilation and child marriages. The former CNN anchor and news reporter broke the story of the adoption of 276 girls from their schools in Chibok, Nigeria in 2014. Let's have more details of that in this report. Isa Sisi quit the cable news network in 2019, saying the Western media was too trumped focus and that she will focus on things that are more important. On Wednesday, her appointment as Goodwill Ambassador for the United Nations Population Fund, Sisi will help in the fight to end violence against women, female genital mutilation and child marriages. The executive director of UNFPA, Natalia Kanim, in a virtual press conference, says Sisi is the right choice in the fight to uphold the rights of women and children. Ms. Sisi has dedicated her life and career to upholding the rights of women and girls and to lending her voice to issues at the heart of the UNFPA mandate. She is the partner that UNFPA needs as we take the road to 2030 and as we fight to end maternal deaths, to end unmet need for family planning, and of course, to end gender-based violence and harmful practices. UNFPA could not have anybody more determined and passionate at our side to uphold women and girls' rights, especially their right to live free of violence and abuse. The briefing-born journalist is the founder of the Head of Women Everywhere Can Lead, an NGO that works to empower educate and support adolescent girls in fulfilling their full potential. In her family's home country of Sierra Leone, Isa explains the motivation behind the fight to end FGM and violence against women. From Sierra Leone, I'm also from a family in which my grandfather, one of his wives, was someone who performed um, FGM. She was what we call a cutter. Um, and so I come from a family where this practice is known. And my mother herself is a survivor. Um, and I come from a country where up to 90% of women um, are subjected to FGM. So this is an issue that I'm very much um, going to be taking on as a goodwill ambassador with the UNFPA team. Uh, I just really want to say that as we mark today, the beginning of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, we have to come together. And as UNFPA, we are already saying enough, enough to all forms of violence against women and girls. And I'll be using you know, my voice, my privilege and my position in the months and, and years ahead to ensure that that message is heard loud and clear. The seasoned journalist has covered numerous breaking news stories and events of global interest. As an anchor and correspondent at CNN for more than a decade, Tisse broke the story of the Boko Haram adoption of 276 girls in Nigeria. She was the only journalist on the ground to accompany 21 of the girls back home in 2016. Her reporting was the driving force behind the global campaign, Bring Back Our Girls Movement. Tisse's nomination as UNFPA Goodwill Ambassador came at the start of the 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence, a global campaign to end abuse and discrimination against women and girls. As the world was hit by a deadly virus almost a year now, the rate of gender-based violence continues to rise. According to the UNFPA, 15 million additional instances of gender-based violence were projected for every three months of lockdown. For Africa TV, Sohna Tungara.